Hi Lydia, hi Darren. Introduce yourselves and tell us what happened to you. Hi, so I'm Lydia. Um, I grew up in Hammersmith and Fulham. I did go to a school in uh, the Wandsworth Borough, which was Elliot, before getting kicked out um, and returning to the borough of Hammersmith and Fulham to um, a Macbeth Centre, which is a people referral unit for, for young people. So I um, was quite caught up in a little bit of an incident that um, was just a, a little minor argument that spiralled out into something a little bit more major um, and a girl who was slightly older at, of me at the time, so I was 11, she was sort of 15, um, had come with a broken glass bottle and had sliced me in my face, just my, my, my main archery. My name is Darren AWOL, a lot of people know me from AWOL Motivation on my Instagram. I am a life coach and a mentor for young people and people, basically people of all ages. So um, I went through a terrific accident, incident when I was younger and my views on life have really changed and I inspired to change people as much as I can possibly throughout a day. So the incident was I was shot in 2011 and I suffer from a spinal cord injury because I had the bullet lodged in my spine and I walk on elbow crutches and use AFOs to walk and wheelchair for long distances. But I haven't let the fact of being in a wheelchair or something bad happen to me. I've just used it as a, I've used it as an energy turnaround. So I've used the bad, the negative, to thrive the positive and get the energy I need to get through every day. Darren, tell us what helped you when things were bad and what you think helps others. I done something that I really frowned upon because it was really against my wheelchair religion. So I had to do wheelchair basketball, mm -hmm. and it was yeah, I was like, I am not doing it because it means I'm gonna end up in a wheelchair. And at the younger stage and the younger version of me, it helped me to realize that it was just a process of to the next stage. You could be going through something bad in your life, and someone randomly says that come and look at this wall or come and look at this art or read this book and then you needed it that's the message you needed to hear but you don't you won't take it on to it may not hit you for a day a second an hour a year but when you realize that's what i needed then you'll go back to it and be like this is what i want to do and you will find your passion within something you do everyone has a passion and a gift and i believe that the gift is in between uh, it is inside of us Lydia, do you think a project like Eugene's would have helped you? I would have benefited from one of those services because you get so much inspiration from Eugene and the talent that he has. You know, to be able to have the opportunity to be in his presence, to be able to learn what he's he's teaching is invaluable. And I would, I definitely think I would have benefited from it as a child. Lydia and Darren. What do you want to say to the Francis Barber students who've been invited to do this project with Eugene? You know, you'll learn a lot. So come along, <laughs> come and see what it's all about. Um, you know, it's better to be hanging, hanging around doing something more creative and productive than being on the streets where there's potential of a lot of different issues out there. So I would say get on board. You don't know what you're coming to unless you try it, um, but you won't be disappointed. I say go because you never know what your, what experience or what message or whatever you need to hear from that experience of going. It's, number one is free. Number two, <laughs> you're, number two, you're going to meet like-minded people, and you never know what you're going to take for it. And a lot of people have hidden talents that they don't know about or hidden gifts, and then or they might be thinking a thought, and then all of a sudden in their thought pattern, they, you take that that young person out of their environment into something where they're really good at. Now a lot of them are good at art. Oh, drawing, um, being there, so there, and there's so much creative minds for these young youth that I witness via Instagram, Snapchat. So I'd urge you to go because if this service was for me when I was younger, because these things weren't around when I was younger, uh, I was told to go and play with traffic lights. Like who plays with traffic lights? <laughs> like do you, uh, what? Yeah, to go and play with a traffic light. Okay, yeah, I'll go play with traffic light. That's an old saying, but. There wasn't as much stuff there is now and I, I really want the young people to utilise this time and just to open their talents and you never know what door can open for you or who you can meet through the process, do you know what I mean? And I've met a lot of people through my process and my journey.